Alright guys, so the Universe 6 characters are getting A, Dokkan Awakenings, and B, new characters are coming. On the global side of Dokkan Battle, I figured I'd go ahead and do a news update. I know I just like covered this probably about a couple months ago, one or maybe two months ago, on the JP side, but I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and do it again for the global side. Now again, um, I'm recording this on Sunday night before they release, um, I believe that these are the update, updated titles and everything, but I don't think anything got buffed. I didn't see anything about them getting buffed or anything like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just talk about the cards. So we're going to go over the SSRs of the two um, undoken variants of a hit in the Piccolo, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about their Dokken versions, where to get the medals and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about the Kale and Khalifa that are also coming out. So Universe's six strongest assassin hit leader ability, enemy attack minus 20%, super attack is time skip, supreme damage, Rare chance to stun the enemy, passive skill critical hit, high chance of stunning the attacked enemy, link skills are Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, and Warriors of Universe 6. Max stats are HP of 8497, attack of 7838, and defense of 4240, and a 12-key multiplier of 140%. Not bad, actually, for 12-key multiplier. Unfortunately, his passive skill doesn't really do much, because other than high chance, not that it doesn't do much, it doesn't give him a nice attack buff like we like to have. Um, overall decent unit, he token awakens with 5 Champa and 5 Vados medals. And that is from the Universe 6 Saga Dragon Ball Super event. They are Vados on level 2, the match begins, and uh, Champa on level 8, the match concludes. Go ahead, grind them out on Z hard, and you'll get a higher drop rate. I'm assuming that's going to come out with the new cards that are supposed to be coming out today. He token awakens into expanding possibility hit. Leader abilities, enemies attack and defense minus 30%, really cool leader ability. Unfortunately, we only really use the key and the stat buff leaders. No one really makes do with the leader skills for enemy attack, like subtracted. I believe like that the Technique 13, Android 13 or something like that is like attack minus 43%. A double lead with that, you're, the enemies are almost never going to damage you, assuming you're going up against the mono intelligence leader, obviously. But like this guy is just flat out minus 30%, double that, that's a 60% reduction in attack it's ridiculous anyway super attack is time skip supreme damage and rare chances on the enemy still passive skill a solid blow attack plus 80 percent wow that's so much nicer disable enemies guard that does not mean he have that he has the gogeta effect it just means that he disables the enemy's guard he still does less less damage but with the guard being deactive it he does more damage than when it is active so it's like a point like seven multiplier i believe like that like like when he does a 1.0 damage against a neutral intelligence extreme character this is like 0.7 what he normally would do i believe something like that so he just does less damage doesn't matter um with a high chance of stunning the attacked enemy which is still good link skills are supreme warrior experience fighters called judgment in fighter warriors of universe 6 shocking speed and shattering the limit so he now has a good uh, key link he didn't have shocking speed before a lot of people complained about that he finally got a key link which is awesome uh, hp is 90 21 attack of 81 32 and defense of 44 85 and he has a 12 key multiplier of 140 percent honestly overall this is a really good card he is a really good card once he got it gets his doken awakening so um if you have him i highly recommend dokening him because he's really not as viable until he's doken awakened now me typically i prefer to wait for cards to get like super attack 10 with one or two dupe ads unlocked before i doken awaken them if i'm not going to use them that much but someone like this if i plan on running him on a mono team I'm probably going to end up Dokken Awakening him, so that way I can use him on a team, because otherwise he's not going to really be doing that well. And we're jumping into Piccolo now. Sage from Universe 7. Piccolo, leader skill is intelligence type, HP and defense plus 60%. Super attack, special beam cannon clone. Causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, peerless concentration. Attack plus 60% when HP is 80% or below. You know I don't like that passive for that HP restriction, um, but whatever, what can you do? Link skills are Namekians, Gaze of Respect, Brainiacs, Prodigies, and Experienced Fighters. Now, personally, I really can't wait to see what happens with the new universe, uh, the, the new Universal Tournament that's going on in Dragon Ball Super right now. Like, right now, it's only Piccolo and Nail. Piccolo and Nail. I really can't wait to see what they do with that Namekians link, because it's actually going to become a little bit more viable, because we have at least two more Namekians coming out in the Universal Tournament, so I really can't wait for that to drop. Um, and... We did, we did max stats, max stats HP of 89.27, attack of 71.15, and defense of 49.29.
and a 12 key multiplier of poorly 130%, but he does have a formidable super attack from the Technique Piccolo from the Super Strike event. He has Hidoken Awakens with five of the Piccolo Warrior Mark Medals from the Hero Extermination Plan, level 17, Fusion for Justice. That is the Evil Power Strike Back. I just grinded mine out tonight, actually, because it is Sunday night that I'm recording this. Uh, I saw that. I rem reminded myself, oh, I should grind that out while it's still available. Uh, pretty easy, pretty, pretty normal. If you have a decent uh, vi villains team, you'll be able to take that event on without a problem. Um, Hidoken Awakens into Wise Warrior Piccolo. Leader skill is Intelligence, Type Key plus 2, HP and Defense plus 70%. He's missing that attack buff, so that kind of sucks, but he does have the HP and Defense, so he's a decent, a decent uh, leader for Intelligence units. Uh, nothing major, but he gives you the HP and Defense, so you're going to be doing a little bit better. Special Beam Cannon Clone, Supreme Damage to the Enemy, and greatly raises attack for one turn, so he's at least going to be doing some good damage now with that... Um, greatly raises attack now i don't know i don't i never use them on the jb side i don't even know if i have them on the jb side and i really stopped watching videos uh, of character displays and stuff like that but greatly raises attack better than not having it all i think he's one of the hardest hitting piccolos uh, especially with that passive skill all out synergy attack and defense plus 80 percent when hp is 80 percent or below again i hate that hp of 80 percent and below or below restriction but attack and defense plus 80 percent is really viable especially on like a mono hero uh intelligence uh, link skills are Namekians, Gaze of Respect, Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, The First, Awakened, and Shattering the Limit. Really awesome Link skill set, actually. I wish he had Shocking Speed, though. Uh, and max stats is HP of 9481, Attack of 7360, and Defense of 5220, with a 12-key multiplier of 135%. Overall, not a bad unit. Again, a lot better once he gets Doken Awakened. Him and that hit become a lot more viable that you would actually consider running them when you bring them. It's also probably a lot more fun to bring them on a team when you're just dicking around trying to grind things out. Uh, now to the two other ones. My uh, my favorite character in the Universe 6, just because she's a badass female Saiyan, Brilliant Battle Intuition Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Now first off, I really wish they just had Super Saiyan Khalifla. They should have had that come out. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about her. Her leader ability is all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So she is a really good like little mini lead for everyone. It's only key plus 2 but all types. So, okay, you know, here's my thing. <laughs> Who would you rather run, the Mass Saiyan Bardock or her? She is not a Dokkan exclusive, and this is her leader ability. This is insane. The fact that she's coming out before Mass Saiyan Bardock, I don't see anyone actually running Mass Saiyan Bardock unless you're running them together in conjunction just because that Mass Saiyan Bardock will give you that extra key, so you're starting off with a five key. But she would be really freaking viable to get everyone to get it's, it's it's i don't know it's insane it's, it's nuts that they're coming out so early uh the super attack is energy blast causes supreme damage to the enemy and defense plus 30 percent for one term so she becomes a little bit more of a tank her defense is a little bit on the higher a little bit on the higher side um passive skill remarkably adapted remarkable adaptability attack plus 70 percent which is awesome high chance of evading the enemy's attack including the super attack which makes her really good for dodge, which essentially it's dodge, or a medium chance of evading the enemy's super attack and countering with enormous power. So, I, I don't know how freaking, that's in, that's insane about how this freaking works. So, I don't know if this means, like, she's either going to just completely avoid it, or if it is a super attack, she can possibly encounter it. It's like, it's like two, three different ways. You either get hit, you either avoid it without doing anything, or if it's a super attack, you have a slight chance to actually uh, counter it. Which, no matter what, that's still freaking badass. Awesome. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Golden Warrior, and Prepare for Battle. Really good Link skill set. Other than, like, Battlefield Diva and Warriors of Universe 6, because they're really not utilized, these other four are super viable Link skills. Uh, max stats are HP of 9785, Attack of 7645, and Defense of 4212. Really good, and a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Clarification, I'd never read this before. Khalifa has a high chance to evade regular attack and super attack. She has a medium chance to evade super attacks. Only if the high chance has failed, and the medium chance then takes over, she will counter attack. If she evades with her high chance, she will not counter enormous power, as she has used her high chance to evade already. Consider her medium chance as a backup. Okay, so that, that's what I was thinking. Awesome. So she's a really remarkable unit. I kind of want to pull her. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if we're going to get discounts or anything like that. But I believe on this banner, they gave us guaranteed one, like guaranteed SSR per summon indefinitely while this banner is out. Uh, last but not least, which kind of actually is least, 
Um, pure, uh, Perilous Potential Strength Kale Berserk. Leader ability is physical type, uh, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. So she's kind of like a, a, a mono physical leader. Super attack is gigantic impact, causes immense damage to the enemy. Defense minus 30% for one turn, so that's kind of like that Broly thing going on. Um, if you don't have Broly or a mono uh, physical leader, then she's going to be really good to have just because of that. Passive skill, free from burden. Attack plus 100%. Launches an additional attack, which has a high chance to become a super attack. So she is just like a miniature version of Broly. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Ace, Berserker, War Warriors of Universe 6, Battlefield Diva, the Saiyan lineage, and prepare for battle. So her and the physical Broly link decently together. You can run them side by side. I bl I don't know. I, I forgot if she's a hero or a villain in this. So she might not run good on a mono on a mono like hero slash villain team. Uh, but she'll do good on a mono physical team if you do have that Broly. Max stats are HP of 92-3, attack of 85-31, and defense of 33-71. Her defense is crap. And a 12 key multiplier of 145%. So she's a really good unit, guys. Um, both of these units really good for their for who they are for not being Dokkan exclusives. They're really good. Um, I really would like the Khalifa just because of that leader ability really useful. Um, and that passive skill is freaking badass also. When she gets a Dokkan waking, you know that attacks either going to go up to 90 or 100 percent. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it for the new cards that should be out on Global as of today. Again, I'm recording this the night before. I wanted to go to bed early so I could wake up early so that way I can hit up the gym and just do a freaking nuts workout because you know today was my cheat day. And I had a whole bunch of good stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.